Okay, we're almost at the last leg of this, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. Nope, can't think of it. What? We're going to start going in here, and we're going to start texturing our um, shirt. So, I'm going to just pretend like we don't have pants. Like, seriously, get out of here, pants. We don't need your kind anymore. So, we don't have pants, and we're just going to focus on texturing our t-shirt. Because texturing t-shirts are just so much fun. Whoops, I shouldn't shake the table. Alright, so we're going to start by creating a big mat for our our, um, our avatar, our shirt. So we're just going to do a basic baking mat, a basic shadow mat. But the first thing I want you to do is go to the materials tab and take off this magenta color because if we were to bake it as is with that magenta color, um, our shadow map is going to come up pink or well, magenta. So we want to make it white. So once we have the material turned back to white, we're going to take our cursor and we're going to move it to the top part of the screen and you're going to see it's going to go from a, being an arrow to a cross when it turns into a cross we're just going to click and then drag it on over and create ourselves a new window here so once this new window is created we can switch it over from the 3d viewpoint just a little box right here to the uv image editor now once we have our uv image editor created we're just going to click on um, our shirt and we're going to press tab and it's going to, let's see, we're here in tab. It's going to send us into edit mode and we're going to press A. And you're going to see that you have uh, the UV mapping for the garment like right here. So what we're going to do at this point in time, it's like you can either leave your UV map the way you have it now or you can decide if you want to change it and make it bigger uh, to fill in some of the dead space. So we can just press A and select it all and press S and then just either scale it but if things aren't quite fitting in the way you want it to be, want it to, we can um, press, hold our cursor over the map, press L and then G, and then we can just move it about until it gets into a place where we, uh, it fits inside the box. So we can do this. We can actually make the back of the shirt smaller because let's be honest, nobody, nobody does back shirt designs. It's all about front of the shirt. So once we have our t-shirt, UVs already in here. Um, we can move on to the next part and create a texture for it. Now, because we move the UV map, the texture we make for it will not fit on the test export that we just did in the last video. We're going to have to uh, re export the shirt uh, for it to have the, these UV maps. So keep that in mind when, when you're going into moving it. So, um, yeah, once we have everything set the way we want, we're going to press new and we're going to change it to. Um, whatever this is, 1024 times 2, this is 2048. But if you don't know what that is, you can just press Shift and 8, and it creates a multiplication. And then we press 2, and then hit Enter. And Blender does the math and tells us that it, yes, that it is 2048 by 2048. Now, before you start losing your shoes and um, going crazy, screaming zero zero, that's way too big of a texture for uh, just a plain old T-shirt. Don't worry, I, it's a reason why I'm doing this. Um, Marvel Designer makes things really big, so when we go into texturing, uh, it saves us a problem. When we're done texturing our shirt and we have everything set, we'll shrink it down to like 512 so it can load without lagging people around us and without taking up a lot of memory. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. So um, we have our texture here, and then it's on there. Um, we're going to go over to this little tab where I'm shaking my mouse and we're going to switch from the materials tab to the world tab and we're going to enable ambient occlusion. It's enabled for me but you don't, you may not have it so if it's like not check, check it. And we're going to turn our samples, uh, the magic number from what I've learned is 22 but I want to get this done and make it go faster and not blow up my poor baby. So I'm going to put it just at 12 or 10. Um, the higher the number is, the cleaner and less gritty the texture is. Um, the But it takes longer to render. The lower the number is, the faster it renders, but you get more grit in your render. And what I mean by grit is, um, okay, let me just put it at 5 and show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on our shirt and I'm going to go over to the render tab. Just going to scroll down and I'm going to hit uh, change the bake. It may be on full render, but I'm going to put on ambient occlusion and we're just going to press bake. 
So give it a second to do so. You'll see the, the progress bar up here. So I'm just going to pause it real quick so while it does it and then we're going to come back. Oh, never mind. It's done. <laughs> Alright, so you see it's got this gritting shading thingy here because I had it on two. Now if you were to bake it at a higher level, you won't get that texture to your clothes. I'm going to go back and try to find that again. So let's see. Turn my samples up to like 20. And then we bake. Fun fact though. Um, although triangles are cool, quads bake a lot faster than triangles. So if you are in a rush, you may want to convert it to tri uh, quads if you want to stuff the bake quickly. But if you don't really care and you got all day, you can just bake them with regular triangles. So I'm going to pause this real quick while everything runs. And I'm going to come back and show you the difference between uh, this and uh, one that was baked at a higher level. Although I must say that's pretty messed up. As soon as it finished baking, my like favorite song comes on the playlist. And I'm like, must not jam. Must continue with tutorial. <laughs> okay, so you see, now that we turned it up, um, the grit is like really refined. It's not there. I mean, sure, we got cracks and stuff, but that's because of the triangles. But, you know, it can't be helped. Um, so it really all depends on you. What do you think is quality and how fast your computer goes? Because some people just, you know, blur it anyway. And uh, when it goes into Photoshop, and they don't, it doesn't really matter. So it, it really is up to you. So now we have, anyway, so now we have our baked template here. We're just going to hit save as, and we're going to save it on my desktop as, I don't know, Untitled 3. <laughs> and hit OK. And just wait for it to save. And there you go. Now, another thing somebody asked me, like, what if you just don't want to put the texture here, and you make it like a template, and you want to give somebody, let me put the texture on it on here, and you want to give somebody like a wireframe of it, I think I knew how to do that. Just give me a second and I'll show you how. I think you go into air and then you go to this and then you export UV layout. And uh, I guess I hit that. Let's see, here we go. So when you do it, it just gives you this. So people can just do the texturing like that if you wanted them to. So that's how you would uh, go about that. So now that we have our uh, bake map already here, it's time to export this and then take it into uh, Photoshop and we can start our painting in there. So I'm just going to go File, Export, oh, go back into Object Mode, click on your shirt, go File, Export, OBJ, and we're going to just name this uh, Link Shirt. Make sure that selection only is checked and include UVs is checked. You want to make sure that. And if you're curious about, like, uh, you can do the same thing that we did with the Marvel's Designer and just name this uh, 3D Painting. That way you know everything is checked and you can just click that and then go. Desktop and hit OK. Alright, now we're ready. Let's go over to Photoshop and we can start our 3D painting. 